All right. So this book, Fantasy Genesis, I picked up almost five years ago now. Um, by uh, Chuck uh, Chuck Lukacs or Lukacs. I'm sure I might be saying that wrong, but I was thinking about finally delving into it and, and creating some monsters and some I'm um, um, getting back into DMing uh, D and D again. Um, it uses dice uh, from D and D to roll on the charts and combine uh, a different animal traits to make a a new kind of like fantasy or alien animal, and uh, really kind of gets your imagination going, gets me interested in drawing again. And one of the things I want to touch on, they need to stop making pencils like this that just roll everywhere to piss you off. Because uh, they always roll onto the ground. It's like, why make them round? I, I just don't understand it. <laughs> so once these are done, I, I'm going to be so happy. Good riddance to uh, rolling pencils. Um, this is an interesting book. It, it's kind of like... It, it, it's kind of, he's trying to make it a game, but he's making it a game for you to create different monsters and, and creatures by combining different traits of animals. He has a, he he even has you like come up with character sheets. Um, I'll show you right here. Bird list one dice six roll. So you grab one characteristic from the bird list, and see so you roll. A six, a fly, a dragonfly, so you can tr combine the characteristics of a fly or a dragonfly with, say, uh, a duck, you know, and see what you come up with. And I'm not sure if it's a game, it's a really simple game of, of just like coming up with certain things and, and feeling if you pull it off or not. Um, let me show you some of the drawings in here. Here's some some neat ones. I like that fish, like a uh, like an elk elk fish or something. You know that's pretty cool. Combining those two, praying mantis with a deer. Um, this right here, it's like a fish, but he made the fish like a uh, like a stick like a ship, and the, it's like a fish. Uh, outside coating or paint job um, paintings are just gorgeous really well done and uh, yeah so I'm looking at making this maybe uh, the next series of, of things to draw although I still might cover the cupid I want to take a break on drawing books with comic book style and go into drawing different kind of creatures for a bit and I don't know how long the series is going to be, maybe just a few videos, but it's going to give me an excuse to finally use this book. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like Alice in Wonderland with the caterpillar playing an instrument, but it's more of a realistic caterpillar, not so, not so much cartoony. This breaks things up again, gets me back into drawing monsters and dragon-like things. I used to be big into dragons for a while. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, let me use a couple of, of these. I'll do a quick sketch, or at least try to. Oh, here I go. I got dice six right here. Always handy to have your dice. Translucent uh, dice six. All right. So say, anima set. Um, says, roll one sided six die. Uh, or one six sided die. You roll your two six sided dice, and they add up to seven. Um, then write lotus mantis on your game sheet in the indicated box. So I'll say okay. Sea life, got a two, crab, lobster, and I'll combine that with 
how about a mammal? Elephant, giraffe, crab, lobster. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. All right. Let's go. So I'll jot that down. Um, elephant. So I can. I think I'll pick either or. I'm not going to have an elephant giraffe, although that in itself is an interesting concept. Um, crab, lobster. So going off the traits I have in my head of these creatures. I'm going to use an elephant. And I'm going to use the big arms of the lobster. And maybe a little bit of the crab legs. So I'll give the thing the big, uh, it's going to have huge legs for lobster. I'll put the trunk in between. This is going to be a pretty quick sketch. Maybe give it some crab legs. <laughs> this is pretty zany. Again, no research, just pure imagination. Put the rest of its elephant body right there. Let me put the ground right here. It's lobster arms are foreshortened. And maybe its arms kind of, you know, slowly turn back into the leathery, tough uh, skin of an elephant. And I'm trying to remember how crab legs are. They have that. Uh, of course, they got that uh, chitin, chitin layer, bone-like armor. And it's pretty zany. So yeah, that's the uh, fantasy genesis of uh, <laughs> lobster elephants. And again, you can go research elephants and, and uh, lobsters, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of how Something inspiring can kind of get you drawing, and uh, <laughs> I'm trying to picture this thing in a role-playing game. It would be pretty high up, a uh, monster to, to take out, it'd be pretty, pretty tough. If I was going to add a giraffe element, make its neck real high. So you kind of get the gist. Again, just a quick sketch. So, yeah, maybe I'll do, do a few more. And actually try to learn the book a little bit more. Maybe print out some of the character sheets. Try to use this thing here. But that's a pretty wild one to come up in a role-playing game. <laughs> pretty zany. Alright. Thanks for watching.